What's up everybody, it's your girl back for another video. So this video I'm gonna talk about women and cheating. It seems like our society programs us to think that women do not cheat. It's men that cheat. Men are the dogs, men are the pig. You can't trust a man, he will always cheat on you. We hear this in talk shows, uh, TV shows, movies. It's, but uh, like I said, we're programmed to think that way. Also, we're programmed to think that men are the aggressor, the abuser, men, it's only men that commit violence, but yet I know throughout my life, I've seen women be just as violent and just as aggressive as any man, but I'll make a separate video about that. But with women, I believe that women cheat just as much as men. This is from my personal experience, from what I've seen throughout my life. You know, I've seen a lot of guys cheat, but I've seen so many more women cheat. And being a woman myself, I get to be an insider to the things that women talk about. And yes, they will admit to one another that they cheat, but you will never hear an ounce of remorse. They always victimize themselves. What they'll say is, instead of saying, you know what, I cheated, it was wrong. Um, it was dishonest of me. It was betrayal and I'll never do it again. What you will hear is, well, I cheated because I had to. He wasn't giving me what I needed and what I deserved as a woman. And all the other women will, you know, jump right in and, you know, be victims and victimize her saying, oh, you poor thing. Um, he should have treated you better. You take care of his kids and you do this and you do that. And he should have appreciated you more and you wouldn't have had to go screw another man. But it's, it's really uh, quite scary how they do that. But they, they're never remorseful and they always shift the blame on their uh, boyfriend's uh, spouse or partner, whatever you want to call it. You know, back in the day when women did this kind of stuff, they were shunned. They were the talk of the town. None of the other women wanted to be friends with them. And, but nowadays, we either don't admit that women do these type of things or when it is admitted, it's they don't get any consequences for it. It's totally okay for women to cheat. It's totally acceptable for them to have multiple partners and have children from multiple men. Like we were completely okay with that as a society. Um, it's almost unnatural and weird to see a woman that doesn't do this kind of stuff. Women like that are, are now shunned and looked at as weird and stupid and lame and boring, but I don't know, I just, you know, I don't enjoy making videos about this stuff, believe it or not. A lot of women will contact me that are very liberal, progressive, and get very angry at me and call me a woman hater, and but I am one, right? And I'm a sexist and all of this, but yet I'm only telling the truth. I'm only getting on here and talking about the truth. And I mean, that's what it is, it's the truth. Instead of them addressing these bad behaviors, they rather attack someone for exposing it. It's completely ridiculous. It is not fair to portray men as cheaters when women do it too. And women do it just as much as guys do, you know, but, and women cheat for different reasons. Like one of the main reasons is they feel like they're not getting that attention from their man that they were getting in the beginning. Women are very selfish and very immature. You're not going to get the same lovey-dovey type attention, you know, when five, 10 years go by with your man. But if he's coming home to you every night and you have his last name and he's with you all the time, that he loves you, he's committed, but that's not enough. Women, like I said, they're very selfish, they're very immature. They'll go cry to another man Oh, he doesn't compliment me anymore. He doesn't give me any attention. And of course, he'll start complimenting her. And the next thing you know, um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So that's that's one of the main reasons I see. I remember when my husband and I were, you know, rebuilding our lives after Katrina up north. We were renting an apartment. We just had our daughter. So we had a baby monitor in our room. And they had a girl upstairs that was married with a newborn baby as well and her husband would bust his ass. He was such a nice guy. He would bust his ass working for them to get their first house. They were saving up to get a new house. And one night he was at work and my baby monitor picked up a phone conversation she was having with a lover. And she was telling this lover, he do, my husband doesn't give me enough attention anymore. He doesn't compliment me. He doesn't tell me I'm pretty. 
And he was like, oh, you poor thing, you're so beautiful, and I'll tell you that every day if you come live with me, and, and this and that. And she was totally biting the bait. It was ridiculous. But, you know, I was just thinking how selfish of her, how immature of her. Your husband's out busting his ass so y'all could get a house, and you can be home with y'all baby, and you're crying to another man because he doesn't tell you you're pretty every day. You're a fucking baby, you know? But that's just my opinion. But I just, there's another reason why women cheat. Let me think. Okay, so then you have these really superficial type females that are like the gold diggers, very attractive, spend a lot of money on themselves. They seek out older men that are pushovers, that have financial stability. And they're, these are typically really good, nice guys. They will marry that guy and get their financial support and emotional support from him and then cheat on him with the bad boy. The bad boy will typically be jobless, so she can't leave her husband for the bad boy because the bad boy cannot support her and cannot give her that emotional support. So she'll, you know, stay with the hubby for emotional support and financial support and stability and run to the bad boy for sex. I mean, that's just what they do. So that's the two main reasons that I see and y'all I've seen women in my husband and I's own family in uh, my co-workers uh, I mean I, I've seen women that are very respectable to the outside church going um, seem to have it all together you would never think they would do such a thing but I've seen it I've seen it and they when women cheat they don't just cheat for physical reasons they get emotionally involved and to me that is the ultimate betrayal that would hurt really bad the emotional um, but that's it, that's what it is it's betrayal and when women do that and I know they do it I lose all respect for them I'm, I would never sit there and uh, you know pat them on the back and tell them it's okay and it's not your fault I would never do such a thing if you're cheating you're you don't have any character you're dishonest you're not loyal you're a complete waste of time and you know you need to uh, you know look inside yourself and try to change yourself because that's uh, it's just the ultimate betrayal to me but women definitely cheat they cheat a lot they cheat just as much as men unfortunately in our society with feminism being so big and organized it's a crime to put women in an unflattering light but the thing is I get all these messages from feminists all the time attacking me but the thing is women are putting themselves in the unflattering light I'm only talking about what they're doing so why not attack them for what they're doing why attack me for talking about it I wouldn't have to talk about it if they weren't doing it so comment below what do y'all think do you agree with me why or why not give me a like I am going to put this video on VidMe as well and I just want to show y'all real quick for my subscribers that are familiar that um, know about my pregnancy we are expecting baby number three I did have an ultrasound and everything was healthy nice and strong heartbeat I'm gonna be going into the third month next week but that's how a little bambino right there I don't know if y'all could see but that's the head and that's the little body and it was in there moving around so so cute we're very, very excited and we're expecting this little baby to arrive in late May of next year. So super excited. See y'all back on my next video. Bye.